In philosophy, four-dimensionalism is an ontological position that an object's persistence through time is like its extension through space and an object that exists in time has temporal parts in the various subregions of the total region of time it occupies. Eternalism is a philosophical approach to the ontological nature of time, according to which all points in time are equally real, as opposed to the presentist idea that only the present is real. Perdurantism, or perdurance theory, is a philosophical theory of persistence and identity, according to which an individual has distinct temporal parts throughout its existence. Thus eternalism is a theory of time, while perdurantism is a theory about the identity of objects over time. Sider uses the term four-dimensionalism to refer to perdurantism. Michael Rye, however, uses the term four-dimensionalism to mean the view that presentism is false as opposed to perdurantism, the view that objects last over time without being wholly present at every time at which they exist. Eternalism and perdurantism tend to be discussed together because many philosophers argue for a combination of eternalism and perdurantism. Considering both as better theories than their counterparts, presentism and endurantism, respectively, it may be argued that the acceptance of perdurantism and rejection of eternalism would be incoherent. Contemporary four-dimensionalists include, according to Sider, Armstrong, Hughes, Heller and Lewis, temporal parts. Temporal parts is a concept used in contemporary metaphysics in the debate over the persistence of material objects. Objects typically have parts that exist in space. A human body, for example, has spatial parts like hands, feet, and legs. Presentism versus Eternalism. Presentism is an ontological viewpoint which attempts to account for how consciousness functions in relation to time. Presentism asserts that only the present exists, the past and the future, therefore, are seen as non-existent. To a presentist, the memory accounts for the collection of events that have already occurred. Similarly, the future is conceptualized as being a mental construct. Therefore, presentism is attempting to demonstrate that the total sum of the actual world occupies the present moment. Consequently, eternalism is the ontological view which postulates that past, present and future all equally exist, while the presentist asserts that the past and future are only logical constructs. The eternalist believes that time exists as an objective manifestation. Eternalism is the basic construct behind four-dimensionalism, as it accounts for the reality of past and future rather than proposing that all events occupy the present. Additionally, there is the growing block theory, which accepts present and past objects into its ontology but not future ones. This purportedly allows for an open future, thus making room for libertarian free will. It also makes good on the intuition that there is a significant metaphysical distinction to be made between past and future, a series and B-series. J.M.E. McTaggart in The Unreality of Time identified two descriptions of time, which he called the A-series and the B-series. The A-series identifies positions in time as past, present, or future, and thus assumes that the present has some objective reality, as in both presentism and the growing block universe. The B-series defines a given event as earlier or later than another event, but does not assume an objective present, as in four-dimensionalism. Comparisons to three-dimensionalism Unlike the four-dimensionalist, the three-dimensionalist considers time to be a unique dimension that is not analogous to the three spatial dimensions, length, width and height, whereas the four-dimensionalist proposes that objects are extended across time. The three-dimensionalist adheres to the belief that all objects are wholly present at any moment at which they exist while the three-dimensionalist agrees that the parts of an object can be differentiated based on their spatial dimensions. They do not believe an object can be differentiated into temporal parts across time. For example, in the three-dimensionalist account, Descartes in 1635 is the same object as Descartes in 1620, and both are identical to Descartes himself.
However, the four-dimensionalist considers these to be distinct temporal parts, neither of which are identical with the whole Descartes, the spacetime worm, concatenating these temporal parts.